Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Before going further, wicked evil scammers in the comment section pretending to be me using my profile, my name. It is not me. When I comment, my name, sister Carrie Ann, is highlighted in solid gray. So you know that's me. If it's not highlighted in solid gray, it is not me. Those are scammers and you need to review them. Okay? All right. All my details, if you want to uh, contact me or anything like that, um, just go to the description box where you see all my details. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, Somebody sent me something, quite a few brothers and sisters actually have sent me something um, via email and actually before that few brothers and sisters have been commenting in the comment section on various videos and just drawing my attention and saying this is a carrier the pentagon has got a microchip the pentagon but i didn't pay it any much mind because you know i'm not really following the pentagon and what they've got to say but then somebody emailed me and said, Sister Karen, please read this article. It's about the Pentagon and the microchip. I didn't know exactly what it was, brothers and sisters. So I said, okay, then this must be something going on in the realm of the spirit. If brothers and sisters keep bringing it up, because that's how the realm of the spirit works. Um, so I clicked on this link, brothers and sisters. My God, Satan is truly at it, isn't he? So I clicked on this link and it took me to, I think it's the independent, it's the news, a news page, in the, the Guardian news or something like that. And it basically read in the lines of scientists at the Pentagon, right? Wicked, wicked Pentagon over in the United States of Babylon, America. Scientists um, at the Pentagon have developed a microchip that can detect watch this watch this brothers and sisters listen very carefully that can detect man-made pestilence you know what i'm talking about because i can't call the name on youtube because they'll block it that can detect man-made pestilence 19 right not only can it detect if you've got the man-made pestilence in your system but also it can filter out this man-made pestilence hold it right there because i want to draw something to your attention in 2016 i did a, fa a facebook post very very powerful fa facebook post uh when we're talking about the 666 um the microchip and one of the thing in those in that post that i've written is that when the 666 comes into fruition I know some of you are saying it's a vaccine, but I'm not going to go there. But anyways, when the 666 comes into fruition, when it's all over the world, one of the attributes of this wicked, demonic, Satan technology, because that's what it is, the devil's technology, one of the attributes it's going to have is that um, it will have the ability to detect for instance cancer and remove those cancer cells and i did that post in 2016 because i was seeing what the lord was showing me in the realm of the spirit concerning because people think that the mark of the beast is only oh you can't buy and sell it's more than that brothers and if it was just can't buy and sell brothers and sisters you would not go to hell for it all right, it would just be like, all right, you don't have any money. But it's more than just not buying or selling. This is Satan's mark on humanity to turn them into something that the Lord didn't create them to be. So in 2016, when I did that post and I said, when the mark of the beast comes in, it will have the ability to basically heal. But the healing that is going to cause is fake. It's not real. It's not true. And now the Pentagon have developed a microchip that can, they say, detect man-made pestilence in your system and filter out, filter out the, whatever it is, the bacteria, so that you don't have it. So you know what next they're going to do, brothers and sisters? Yes, 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 yes. They're going to take their time. 
slowly but surely phase out the man-made pestilent jab right that's what they're gonna do slowly phase out the man-made pestilent jab and then offer trick everybody oh wonderful this trip is once you get it you you will definitely not have the man-made pestilent jab and they probably declare free the world is free of c19 whatever but it's a trick so when i saw this brothers and sisters i said this is this is truly the making of the 666 that the bible has spoke about because if you turn the Bible to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 says, Revelation 13, verse 16, 16, it says, And he, who is he, the Antichrist, the wicked one, the son of Satan, and he causeth all, both small and great, watch this, all. I want you to underline that word all, because I think some brothers and sisters have said, Oh, you know, children will not take the mark. It says all. This is all the humanity, including kids. And he calls it all. This is, like, this is like the days of Noah. This is why only eight people were saved on the ark. Because the rest of humanity was corrupt. Their DNA was wicked. You couldn't accept them. Well, I mean, if they came in the ark and they listened, then yes, they would have been saved. But they were so wicked and deceived and rebellious and stubborn and aggressive towards Most High Yah in the days of Noah. That only eight people got saved. Same thing is happening in 2021 and beyond. Because we're, we're in the generation of vipers. And I'm going to do a video concerning the generation of viper, vipers. The satanic generation. Okay. So the Bible says in Revelation 13 and verse 16 that. And he calls it all. That's everybody. Small. Little kiddies. Great. Old people. Right. Rich. Poor. All right, free, born, those in prison, those who are on us walking up and down and free to receive the mark. Watch this in their right hand. If the mark of the beast is not in your right hand, it's not the mark of the beast. You cannot go against the Bible. I'm sorry. If you get the chip in your foot, that's not the mark because the Bible is very, very specific. The word of the Most High yeah, is specific. He says in your right hand that is what you look for concerning the mark of the beast so when they come because if you go right now to say a gp surgery or a doctor surgery just for argument sakes just for argument's sake and you decide that you're going to take the man-made pestilent jab and you have the jab in your left upper arm that's not the mark how is the most high yeah going to send it to hell for that or condemn you completely like when I say condom, like, this is it, you know, you're all gone. You don't know Christ or anything like that. That's, that's not the mark. It is wicked. The man-made job is very wicked. You mustn't take it because it's a trial. It's a test run building up for this. The 666 that the Pentagon has got. They've got it. The Lord revealed to me that is it. That what you see. I'm going to talk some more about it. But that that the Pentagon scientists have developed, that is the mark. That is it, brothers and sisters. But they're going to develop it some more. So it's going to be perfected. It's, in, it's still not perfect yet because it's, there's loads of things to add to it, which I'm going to come to about. But the Bible is very, very specific. So when people say, Sister Karen, it's a job, the mark of the beast. Brothers and sisters, please read Revelation 13. What time is it? Okay. Please read Revelation 13 and verse 16. It tells you in your or their right hand or forehead that's the mark that is when the government comes to you and said look you're not allowed you can't buy you can't sell you can't do anything without the the, the chip or the the mark in in your right hand not on so when people say tattoo tattoo is not in the skin brothers and sisters it is on the skin the bible said in in i n in so that is something inserted into the skin and that no man might buy or sell save he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name right so let's go back to the pentagon so now the pentagon have developed this microchip thingy bobby 
that can detect COVID. So why is it that they couldn't, do, why is, oh, call the name Lord Jesus, please Lord, don't let them block this thing. All right, so why is it that they couldn't develop a microchip that could detect cancer, for instance? No, because they know that the man-made pestilence that's going on, it's all man-made, all right? And, and they're pushing the mark of the beast. It's not so much the, the wicked man-made job that they're pushing, but it's literally the mark of the beast that is coming up. This is, this is Bible fulfillment. Now, because we're in the time of the end. Okay? And so now, what is going to happen is that eventually the wicked governments are going to fade out the job. And say, oh, scientists have developed something more powerful. It's going to, you know, what's it going to say? It's going to detect the man-made pestilence. Number two, it will tell you when you have symptoms, if you're going to have symptoms. Number three, it's going to filter out. <clears throat> sorry it is going to filter out the, the the virus that is in your system but brothers and sisters you know well you're not going to take this right when they come to you and they're offering it you know you must yeah you know you're not going to take that stuff okay so what they're going to do now brothers and sisters they're going to make this thing so wonderful that they're going to come and i'm not even talking about the money part yet i'm just talking about the health part they're going to come and they're going to say, you know, this chip is so wonderful that apart from the man-made pestilence, C19, um, if you have any disease, even if you're crippled, even if you're paraplegic, you're, you're going to be able to walk. This is how powerful this satanic thing is going to be. This is how they're going to sell it. It's like transhumanism. Just this little chippy thingy, that, the, 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 the mark. It's like transhumanism, brothers and sisters. So when that goes into you and they promise you that your hair is going to grow back if you got alopecia or if you got any form of skin disease or even if it happens in the, in the so-called zombie apocalypse and they're going to say to the people, you know, there's loads of people acting really weird, really funny outside, acting like zombie. But when they get this chip in them, they're going to come back natural. And they will. They probably, they probably will perk up, but it's not going to be for a long time because they're going to revert back. Brothers and sisters, we're in the time of the end. The Lord has, there's so many in my spirit, so many things in my spirit that the Lord has revealed. And I'm just trying my best. That's why I do videos every day. That's one of the reasons why I do videos every day because there's just so much. There's so much going on. So now when this, this um, chippy thingy come, all right, I'm going to call it the 666, to be honest with you. That, that same thing that the, um, the Pentagon <laughs> has developed, I'm going to call it the 666 for now, all right? So now that they've got the 666 out there in the Pentagon, so once they deal with the health side, because remember this chip is going to be all rounded, okay? So now that they, they dealt with the health side, you know what you're getting, where if you're sick, you will be healed. All right, they're going to cure all manner of sickness. Everything that the natural doctors couldn't find, scientists couldn't find, this chip is going to make you better, but it's not going to be, it's going to be for a short space because you're going to revert back and even worse. All right? Okay. Now let's deal with the money side because this is where they're going to build up next to. So this chip is going to be from the Pentagon. It's going to be so wonderful that now... Uh, the governments are going to buy into it. So now they're going to get rid of monies. And one way they're going to do that, brothers and sisters, is to, yeah, crash the economy, crash the world economy. So that you don't have no more money, no more paper money, no more coins, nothing like that. It's just the chip. That you can just go to the shops, just stretch out your hands and the bar called you. And you get your food or whatever or you buy or sell and it's going to be so advanced that you don't even probably going to need car keys because it's on you you're probably not going to need telephone this one little wickedness is going to be so advanced and people are going to rush for it because especially young people that love technology so everything is going to be combined into one everything is going to be combined into one so you are a walking talking mobile phone or cellular phone you're a car key you can open up your car with your hands 
You can go into buildings. You're not going to need anything on you. Just to check brothers and sisters. It is coming. It is, I believe. I really, really believe that what the Pentagon has developed. That is the mark of the beast. It's just not advanced yet. It's just a small. Because you have to understand that Satan is not God. It, will, it could never ever be Yah. Alright. So he, he has to try all things. Whereas the Most High Yah speak and it's done. That's it. That's our God. That's our uncreated Yah. He speaks and it's done, man. Yeah. But with Satan, he doesn't have that ability. So he's got to trial this and get his, his minions and his fallen angels to trial that. And to, So once he trials things and it works, then it comes in big full force. So with the man-made pestilent job that's going on, yeah, it's not for... The man-made pestilent is re it's not it is not for the man-made what the job is for is for a zombie event it's for a zombie apocalypse because satan has to try that out first before the real mark comes in and when that works he knows that aha he knows exactly what to put in the pentagon 666 that they're that they've got and if they're still going to develop it because it's only can do certain things now but that, brothers and sisters, mark my word, that is the beginning of the mark of the beast. You've got it over there in America. Oh, sorry. You've got it over there, brothers and sisters, in the United States. I'm so sorry, brothers and sisters. This is a flop of my, my, my tongue. It's there. It's not in fruition 100% yet because they haven't gone to the Bible where it's where when they, when they come to you, and they begin to say to you, it has to be in your right hand. Then you know. Then you know. When they're specific. When they come and they say, uh-uh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, it goes in the left hand. It's not going to work because the heart this and the heart that. And because of whatever excuse they're going to give. But when they start to come to you and say, it's got to be in your right hand. That is it, brothers and sisters. Because some people don't have right hand. Some people do not have right hands. So, and some people don't have arms or, or anything like that. So, so where are they going to put it? In the forehead. Because the Bible, because people, when I, when I mention the forehead, people say, oh, that's worship. No, but the, but the Bible, the Bible already said it, isn't it, brothers and sisters? The Bible says that, that no man, this is Revelation 13, 17, that and and that no man might able and that no man might buy or sell save he that has number one the mark that's because there's different ways you can get it save he that has the mark that's the chip inserted in your right hand number two the name of the beast Woof. look at that the name of the beast that has revealed to me yet brothers and sisters that's quite deep how are you going to get the name of the beast? Is it tattooed on you? What is it? Can't be because this has to be spiritual. So the name. So this is. Lord please help me to. Give me the revelation for this at some point. Father God please. So the name of the beast. That's the second way. You're going to get the 666. And then the third way. Or the number of his name. So three ways, the mark, the name, or the number. Now we always focus on the mark, isn't it? Because that's a revelation for now. That is a revelation. And the revelation is this, the chip, you know, inserted in the right hand. We got that covered. Now, the name of the beast, that has not revealed to me yet in terms of, yes, we know that Obama is going to be incarnated Satan. But... It's the name. I don't know. The Lord hasn't revealed. I need to go into prayer and ask the Most High to reveal this. The name of the beast or the number of his name, which is the number is 666. But it's how is that going to come into fruition? So those are the three ways that people are going to get the, the mark of the beast. Three ways. Chip, name, and number. Any one of those three, you're going to hell. So you have to be very careful. You've got to be very, very wise. 
very, very wise. Very, very wise. And the name, maybe, something is coming in my spirit. Maybe the name, the name of the beast is when you denounce Christ. Like, I don't know. It's, it's not just physically with your mouth saying, oh, I don't want Jesus Christ anymore. I want somebody else. I think it's more than that. So I don't want to talk too much on it because I'm not, the, the, the information has not been fully downloaded in my spirit. All right. Uh, let me get rid of this. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about that. The information has not been fully downloaded in my spirit, but it is coming. It the the, the six 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 is that set at the Pentagon. They're gonna just advance it more. They're gonna advance it more, brothers and sisters. But you know, you're not gonna take that stuff, even if even if you're on death's bed. You know, you're not gonna take that because that is it. That is literal. You're signing your way to hell. Because there's no coming back. You, as soon as you get that, your name is just blotted out of the book of life. You're, not, you're no use for heaven. So it's quite interesting, really. It's really, really interesting that these fallen angel scientists, because that's what they are. The fallen angels, just in human form. That these fallen angel scientists have come up with this little tiny rice grain thingy bobby to be inserted. And like I said, it is in trial. All right, some part of it is complete, but it will be used mostly for medical purposes and for economy, money, buying and selling. Very interesting time we're living in, brothers and sisters. We we'll have to live holy. We serve a righteous and holy father. And he's grieved every single day with the wickedness that's going on. Nobody's paying attention to him. Only the few that's awoken, that's listening to his voice. And those people will be saved. So this channel really is to wake you up and for you to understand the times and the seasons that we are in. We are in the end times. And I just really wish that the pastors would begin to preach. There's so many people sitting in all these mega pastors' churches and so lukewarm, don't understand if the coming are going, okay? All right, brothers and sisters, so be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah just like Enoch. All praises. All beautiful praises to the Most High. We can find this. Sorry, brothers and sisters. All praises. All beautiful praises to the Most High, Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah, eternally bless you. I love you all. And I will see you soon. Someday in glory. In Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. The reason why, sorry brothers and sisters, the reason why I have my Bible in my hands is because the Lord has given me a commandment that I want to do. I want to do this commandment, brothers and sisters. Just bear with me. I know I've said what I've just said a while ago, but there's something on my heart. Oh, I can't find it. Ooh. Just bear with me, brothers and sisters. I'm almost finished. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do in a bit. Just bear with me. Um. Okay. All right, the Lord, the Lord um, told me to do a benediction. Yes, the Lord told me to do a benediction at the end of my videos. Okay, He said do a benediction at the end of your at the end of your videos. So I said okay, Lord. So the benediction that I'm gonna do, brothers and sisters, I'm gonna. I kind of know it out of my head, but I don't want to get it wrong, all right? But it's Jude 1, okay? Jude chapter 1 and verse 24. So this is something new that the Lord placed in my heart and tell me to do at the end of all my videos. So this is the benediction we're going to say at the end of my videos, okay? All right. So Jude 1 verse 24 says, Now unto him that is able to keep you, from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory majesty dominion and power both now and forever amen and amen amen blessings amen